What's up, people? It's Buford's Tank. Someone um, was just asking me about um, how do I keep my tank so clear. And um, it's the filters that I use, really. I don't use OcuClear anymore to treat the water. Um, I have an old OcuClear filter, um, the 500. I think now it's called the 110. Um, this thing is huge. Got a bunch of media in there. But this thing, this thing is my favorite. Um, it works great. But most of all of my tanks, I always keep two filters. So I have the Aqua Clear 500. It's a very, I don't even know how long I had this. It's very old. They don't even call it the same thing anymore. Like I said, now it's the 110. And then I also have the Whisper. The whispers are all right. I have a bunch of them. I've had them for a long time. Um, but to me, if if you know you're gonna do anything, I would always recommend the Aquaclear filters first. So basically, I keep the the two filters running. And, um, I never have a problem. I don't overfeed my fish. I do my regular water changes. You know, never had a problem. Now, for the other tank, same thing. I have a, a smaller, uh, this is the OcuClear 70. And then I have another Whisper filter. This is on the 40 gallon breather tank. So, um, you know, as you can see, this is, the lighting's not great, but, you know, the tank is very, it's crystal clear. Never have any problems with this tank or, or, or the bigger one. But I would always recommend, like I said, um, I would go with the Aqua Clear filters. The Whisper filters, I, I never had a problem with them also, but you just get so much more um, water flow and, and less hassle. Maintaining the, the filters with the Aqua Clear is great. I wouldn't, um, actually, this is actually a new filter because I needed a new one and I went out specifically and got the Aqua Clear because I've always had this older one and I always loved it so when I needed a new filter you know I, I went and got the OcuClear I wouldn't buy a Whisper filter at this point you know I, I have probably five or six of them stashed away I had a lot of them you know from accumulating them over the years but um I would definitely go with the OcuClear filters and um Always, if you can, if you can afford it, always over filter your tanks. I would always recommend putting two filters on your tank. Or if you just have a small tank, um, let's say like I have a, a, a 20 gallon down here. I would put something like, um, you know, a big Aquaclear filter on it. That's way over the capacity of the tank because that way you know it's going to over filter it with the one filter and you won't have a problem you know as opposed to getting a filter that matches the size of the tank always try to get something that's for a, a, a bigger tank and uh, like I said I don't use OcuClear anymore for the, for the, to treat the water um, you know, my tank is crystal clear and it stays that way so, you know, I definitely, you know, always over filter your tanks. If, if you can get two, you know, I've seen people online having three or four on one tank. I think that's a little ridiculous, but, you know, whatever works for you. But that's what I use as far as filtration. And um, that's what it is. So once again, you know, if you can, if you can afford them, I would get the Aki clear. It's no longer the 500. Like I said, I've had this for a long time. This is old. It's now the 110. Or like the other one that I have, it's the OcuClear 70. So, you know, you get your little, put your bio media and stuff in there. So that's what it is. I have my two tanks. I keep them over, over filtered. So there you go.